All right, now that we've changed some fonts up, I think it's now time uh, for me to work on some content and some CSS rules. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add in the content of, uh, of some of this uh, this page with all of the different uh, the different images and and things. I, I, again, I want to use I want to do root beer here, so we're going to go and and change the content of a number of different items here. So again, we're going to move out of the head section, and we'll go we'll do the navigation bar in a minute. Um, so we'll skip over. This is all the navigation. Here's a comment that says this is the navigation section. We'll leave that alone for now. And this, then we've got another con comment saying that here's the content. And here's where the header is at, and so we're going to go down here, and we'll, you know, let's let's change this information. So rather than page header, we'll call this recent reviews, and our subheader, which is placed inside small, which is smaller, uh, we'll call it something funny. Let's do. ostentatious musings below because we want the most pretentious sounding uh, root beer uh, website possible. All right, so that looks that looks good. Maybe a little bit long, but on a bigger screen, that'll be okay. Um, all right, so now we have our rows. Okay, so here's our very first row. Here's all of the text that goes in that very first row uh, in order to make this row of images and content. And so I'm just gonna very quickly kind of uh, populate this. I'll probably pause the video so that you don't have to see the the word the in and out. But let me let me go through one or two of these. Uh, the very first one, I've got a bunch of root beers. I've got their images already in the IMG folder that we already put things in. And so for this first one, the project name instead of a project, we're gonna call it the name of a root beer. Is AJ Stevens. And the image, so it's going to be the source for that image. Instead of a placeholder, it's going to be in the image folder, and the file is called ajstevens.png. And let's see if that does it. All right, good. And so we've got the root beer, we've changed the name, we can put some text on there if we want to put a little description. That's a that's a nice little start. Let me uh, let me do the next one. So the next one I've got is called Americana. And again, you know, I, I got the content kind of prepared uh, beforehand, and I, I recommend you kind of plan out your content in advance as well. And this one again is called it's in the IMG folder, Americana. PNG. And, oh, looks like I got it incorrect. Oh, it's not the class that I wanted, it's the source. Let me undo that. I changed all of that. I just want to change just the information in the source. All right, perfect. Now another thing that we should do in order for us to pass validation later is we're going to need to add the alt image. So for any image online, it is standard and proper to add an alternative uh, description of the item. So we can put something like Americana root beer, and then up here we can do Stevens root beer. And those don't end up showing up when we display this pic picture, um, but they do show up uh, and are, are readable for screen readers, for those who are visually impaired. And so it's proper form in order to provide those alt images so that uh, visually impaired readers uh, can still access the, the content and understand what's in there. All right, let me, let me do a couple more. The last one in this first row called Bundaberg which is an Australian root beer, happens to be the most disgusting one I've ever tasted. And let's move and do the next one on the next row.
And again, I should be doing all the alt tags, but I'm not for now. Oops, I spelled something wrong there with Captain Eli's. Oh, it's in the image folder. There we go. Okay, and, and uh, I'll pause the video and I'll fill in these uh, other ones later. I don't need to walk through all of these. The other thing I want to do is I want to now link this link and the image so that when you click on them, they, they go somewhere. Right now, they're, they're not going anywhere. The href here uh, for the a tag, the a tag is an anchor tag, but it's a really a hyperlink tag. So this hyperlink reference right here, right now is set to the pound sign, which means don't do anything. Uh, so if you click on this, it's technically a hyperlink, but it doesn't go anywhere. So we want to change that. So this now points to our our Captain Eli's HTML file uh, that we've been editing over here. So if we refresh this now and click over here, it should go to our our other file, which is uh, exactly what we want. Now the text doesn't, just the image does. So let's fix that. href here works, but we also want the text right here in this href to also work. We'll save that, see if it works. Oh, something doesn't work. Oh, I didn't copy the whole link. There we go, let's try that now. There we go, perfect. All right, so that's uh, that's adding in some content here, and I'll, I'll pause the video and, and fill out the rest for it right now. All right, so after a brief pause, we've got all of our root beers named and all of the uh, root beer images up here. And I actually decided that I wanted to add uh, an additional row. So I want to have 12, uh, three across, uh, four rows down. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get pause and, and add three more root beers uh, to this one. All right, so I've now added our another row uh, down at the bottom. Now, how did I do that? Well, all I did was go to the projects row here, highlighted that, copied, pasted that below, and then changed the names and the images below, just in order to add that additional content. So we've now got some pretty good content uh, on this page, and we'll add some content over on the portfolio page. So on this portfolio page, we're gonna want to change the portfolio item name. So if we scroll down there and find where that's at. Again, we'll do the nav virus in just a minute. So here's our portfolio item. And instead of calling it that for our page header, we're going to call this the name of the root beer. And the subheading, uh, this is a very popular one, at least amongst my group that tests root beer. So I'm going to give it the subheading, the people's choice, and see what's going on here. There we go, the people's choice. All right, and instead of calling this description, I'm going to give it some, uh, some different information. There's description down here. We're going to call this about the brew. And I've already prepared a kind of a brief paragraph about this root beer. So I'm going to replace this placeholder text with this. So this is the only root beer that actually has inspired a comic book. Um, and the last time I had a tasting party, this was the, the winner. Now, after that, I'm going to put some information about the ingredients. Let's see how that's looking right now. And we can kind of see, okay, here's a nice little list here with bullet points. And I'm going to take, instead of those list elements that are full of, uh, placeholders, I'm going to replace those with the actual ingredients for this root beer. There we go. So those are the ingredients there. And those are nice filled out. Awesome. Now, I actually kind of want a new section here. I don't want just these two sections. I want a section that has the website for uh, for Captain Eli's. So what I'm going to do down here is you'll notice that there's inside of this little section here where we've got the image 
Okay, that's this image right here, this placeholder. And then we've got another column, which has a h3 tag about the brew and then a paragraph. So about the brew and then a paragraph, then an h3, and then, which is this heading right here, and then an unordered list, which is our bulleted list. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add another h3, another heading, call this website, and then another paragraph. And inside the paragraph, I'm going to put in an href or a hyperlink tag, a href equals. All right, and then I'm going to copy and paste just from the website. So here's the Captain Eli's actual website. I'm going to put that inside the href and in between the tags. And what that will do is we'll put the website link and the text of the website. Those, so here's the, this is the link to the, you know, to the site, and this is the text that goes in there, that's displayed there. And we could double check that that works, and there's the Captain Eli's website also linking to the comic. Awesome. Now I also want to figure out this or fix this image, and so in this image I've got a in the IMG folder I've got a cap. Eli's image that we've used before. And there it is. Good. And then down here for the related projects, uh, I'm going to put a few root beers that are that are similar uh, to the projects or to to this root beer. And there we go. I've just added in the related projects uh, row. I renamed this to be similar brews right here and I just changed the uh, text of the images. Again, I'm gonna need to go through and, and add all of the alt tags later, but, uh, but that'll work for now. So there's some additions of content. So we've got, we've got these two websites, uh, these two pages, uh, reasonably well filled out with content. There's still some more texts that, uh, that I need to add later, but this gives you an idea of how to, how to you know, do some image tags, do little uh, hyperlinks, and also just kind of play around and add some new content.